Hello YouTube, Jeff Steele here with Steele Navigator. Today's video topic is on beard oil and which ingredients you should check for, make sure they are not included in whichever you choose. So my beard oil of choice lately has been the Honest Amish Classic Beard Oil. It's readily available. Pick it up at your local super center. It's a great bang for the buck and that it's two ounces for around $12, $13. It's got great reviews on Amazon. The ingredients on the bottle, avocado oil, virgin pumpkin seed oil, almond oil, apricot kernel oil, golden Jehovah oil, virgin argon oil, and kikui oil. Also has a note here, plus seven essential oils targeted at promoting healthy skin and beard. But it does not give the details as far as what is in the essential oils, what essential oils they are. However, if you look on Amazon's website, and it might be listed on the box that the bottle is contained on, and I would always check no matter which oil you choose to make sure it does not have these specific ingredients. So I saw today that this honest Amish has lavender oil, also peppermint oil. Now, not sure if you know about this or not, but both, especially peppermint oil, can raise estrogen levels and lower testosterone levels. I did not know this for a long time. Peppermint, mint in general, is in nearly everything, even our dental floss, our toothpaste. Avoid mint and lavender like the plague if you want to keep your estrogen levels lower and testosterone levels maximized. Just to give you an example to help communicate to you how big of an issue peppermint or mint is in regards to the topic of testosterone and how it can hurt it and estrogen and how it can raise it. I heard through a social media guru who found out about this, is how I learned about it, that on a lot of the trans movement forums, they promote mint oils, peppermint oils, and the like to aid in the transitioning period. So, if you are a male wanting to remain male to maximize your testosterone, keep your estrogen as low as possible, always, of course, check your ingredients on your foods, but also the products that you're using in and around your, your body, your home, and beard oil, you're putting it on your face, a uh, very sensitive area. I would absolutely choose a beard oil and or beard balm that does not have peppermint oil or mint oils. Also, same thing with lavender oils and such. I don't know the complete science behind those oils and why they do that, but I do know that to be fact. Comment down below on this topic. Are there any beard oils or balms that you recommend? I was looking today at the Mountaineer brand. I think I want to give them a shot next. I didn't see those two oils in their ingredient list. Seems to be a good price point, good quality from what I can tell. Share this video if you would. Get the word out. Avoid these oils like the plague. And I can assure you that your beard will benefit from avoiding these oils. Also, subscribe if you would. Tap the thumbs up icon and bell icon. I do thank you for watching. Have a great day.